reading from the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people. And uh, as usual, we go to any page. Uh, let's go to Peter, Peter 2. Uh, Peter 2, 7 to, uh, page uh, 818. Uh, Second Peter 2, however you say it. Uh, and this would be uh, 17. Oh, I, as you can see, the the, uh, the Gullah is the larger type, the larger font. And this uh, smaller type on the side, that's from the uh, the New Testament. That is rendered by the, um, uh, what do you call them people? The, the, the people that talk that Shakespeare stuff, you know, that, that Christopher Marlowe stuff, you know? So we need some glasses because it's small type. Right? Okay, so page uh, 818, 2 Peter 2. That's how I'm reading it. 17. Them, them wickedy people seem like, well, you ain't got no water uh, in them. They like dark, dark cloud with the show that rain what fall come. But the big breeze blow them away. And ain't no rain come tall. God, to keep the dark, dark place for a pit, them people. And the uh, translation is, These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is is reserved forever. Uh, oh, well, what we do is we, we read it twice uh, because, uh, well, the Gullah people, that's my people's on my mother's side, and I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, well, con connect with my lineage. And uh, I just came across the Gullah Bible, and so I figured if I tr try to read it for a while, then sooner or later, it's difficult. I'll get it. So here we go. Again, this is uh, 17, page uh, 818, 2 Peter 2. Um, I'll just get to see it. When I say 2 Peter 2, I don't know what they mean by that, but that's that's what it is, 2 Peter 2. Right? Hey, I'm not a Bible reader. I read the Bible a long time ago, a couple of times. In fact, it's interesting because um, the, the Gullah people is from my, my mother's side, so my grandmother on my mother's side. Um, she, uh, when I was reading one time, I would visit her, you know, when I left the South Bronx and, and, uh, and, and what, I guess it was early January, 1970. I just never lived back in, in that house again, but I would visit her. And one time I was visiting her, I, was, I happened to be reading the Bible for the second time. And I was in Eddie, not in it. I was in like deep into the New Testament after reading the whole thing, right? And just see something, oh, you're reading the Bible. And I said, yeah. Now you have to understand, my grandmother would, would read the Bible every morning, right? You see, but now I would come out, I wake up early, so I would come out at six o'clock, and I see her reading the Bible. I wouldn't say nothing. She wouldn't call me over. I can go figure. So anyway, uh, so she said, oh, you're reading the, reading the Bible? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm up to this part in the New Testament. And she said, oh, you, you read the whole thing? I said, yeah. She said, well, you don't have to read that old, uh, that old stuff. Just read the New Testament. Oh, now she tells me after I, anyway, but my point is, this is the New Testament, so I'm doing what my grandmother told me to do. Okay. Uh, 17. Them wickedy people same like, well, what ain't got no water in them. They like dark cloud with the show that rain what come from. But they big breeze blow them away and ain't no rain come tall. God, they keep a dark, dark place for pit them people. And the uh, translation is, uh, these are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. So let's so say if the, uh, the Gullah culture, my peoples, my being me, T from the Patterson's Technic Trains to Tibet, letting you know, well, that I only suspect 